But I do know Temple's like a thing that happens on the weekend. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a Friday. They're, some of the times they're running them at like 4 p.m. Like, yeah. Man, you just assume no one has jobs? Like, <laughs> come on. I mean, yeah, it's mostly true, but mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking time off just to get to a Friday yeah. at 4 p.m. tournament. Like, come on. So, what do you think of this matchup? Like, uh, what do you think ooh. we'll be seeing a lot of? Well, I mean, I don't think I don't see Roy's go off stage much, and Rob can kind of take his time getting back. So, I don't know. I think Rob wins this at, on paper. And, I mean, yeah, Roy's so fast, he can really, like, break into his own and zone. Yeah, yeah. But the gyro, like, sort of forces you to have to jump as well, which can be exploited pretty easily. I like seeing a lot of these, like, cross-up mirrors from JD. Like, kind of mixing up. Mm -hmm. Rubs out of shield. Yeah, oh, trying to go for the lingering down air there, not quite catching Ooh. it. Nice, up there. Catch that. Oh, jump, counter. Oh, I gotta go play my set. Yeah. Wave two. We probably got one game in us. I'm not gonna DQ us in one game, surely. Yeah. <laughs> wow, just nice snuffing out the jump. I mean, nine times out of ten, if someone's on the platform, they're gonna like jump to the middle. Yeah, yeah. See, see what I mean about Rob being able to just sort of delay his recovery and shark you on the way up? Yeah. yeah. Like, what's Roy do about that? He's really gotta get, like, get his lunch, lunch traps. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, get like a jet, get a side B here. Right, as long as you know what pool you're in, we'll just we'll just bolt after this game. Doggy that's waiting. Alright, Sora's out. Alright, I suppose I should head as well. Thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out guys. It was good fun. Let's do it again sometime. up everyone the game's over okay we came in late all right goodbye all right so jd takes game does not take game one he had stuff going on first game i was watching from the crowd he had yeah stuff going on game one. he was doing yeah. pretty okay i mean he was yeah he was sourcing at times mm. um but i was just like struggling to get the kill i feel like that was like where it sort of sort of felt it sort of fell apart because after that you can see that he's like really trying to get that kill yeah you know no really good stuff from uh from scarbo scarbo yeah just, you know, forward air, just straight out there. Like, Roy recovery is sometimes quite difficult to, to edge guard like that. Um, and just going out there before he can even, like, on his startup yeah. is pretty good. Doesn't get that invincibility like he does on the ground, so. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, the commentator sound suddenly sounds so sexy. I don't know, dude. I, I have no clue. <laughs> no bro. idea. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Either way, uh, game two, did you see the stage pick? I don't know. PS2. PS2. <laughs> <laughs> I will refrain. Asserting my opinion on PS2. Anyway, so far, first hit goes to Scobo here. And he's already chucking out that, those rock things. Yeah. I mean, doesn't have them completely down, which, uh, you know, is to the benefit of JD. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. That is something, that is an option that I quite like, and it, it works really well with Rob. Just, yeah. you know, everyone that likes to sort of challenge Rob on the ledge. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Ooh. I uh -oh. like the idea there, but unfortunately it was a bit low. Oh, my God. Yeah, he went wrong. for it all there. That's yeah. like, that is a ballsy roll in because he was charging that before he even got off the ledge. But hey, it worked out for him. Gets the out smash to steal that stock out. Yeah. Um, and didn't really take much damage either. Only 36%. So he's already lapped him just like that. Uh, I think Scobo, he's got, like, he's got a pretty, pretty solid flow chart on him right now. Like he's just consistently, you know, executes his game plan when he, yeah. uh, when he needs to and knows what he wants at his percentages. Absolutely. 
I feel like JD here, he, he slowed it down a bit compared to the previous game, but it definitely feels like he's just throwing buttons out there to just get a hit or get something out there. Yeah. And uh, Scobo is just taking, like, sitting back, and as Rob, you can sit back and just do whatever. That was a crazy spot dodge call out. Just held the down smash and um, just let it rip. And it's so strong at that point and able to take out JD's second stock here. Oh my goodness, he's oh. going for it all. Holy. The classic Rob <laughs> side B zero to death combo. But uh, I don't know if that would have killed just yet, because I'd probably do another edge guard there, but yep. he's fine. All right, one thing I'm noticing, JD, JD doesn't have a jump, he's dead here. Oh, oh no, he's no, still no, living, he's damn. Good I thought he needed to air dodge, but apparently not. No? Blazer does hit a little bit further than I apparently am. Oh, oh that dead. was so active on the back air. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate there. Like, he's definitely getting a bit antsy towards the end of that stop. Yeah. He's just like, he wants to get that stop now to get himself on the board, but unfortunately cops it in the face. Yeah, kept kept holding forward and just didn't know when to just hold back a little bit. Mm. Um, yeah. I mean, Scobo just definitely like picked up something from game one because it was uh, so much closer in game one, but this was just a roll in game two here. Yeah, you saw there that he kind of went for that early up B, maybe hoping to catch 